Well, good morning. Today I'm working in Keithley. I've got to pressure wash this really dirty Indian sandstone patio. Also to clean of these steps, crazy paving, York stone, really slippery. Got this garden path, it's like an ice rink, so slippery. If I don't go flying today, I'll be amazed. Oop. <laughs> God. My name's Paul Driver and I'm the owner of Jet Ready. We're known for exterior cleaning and restoration services and this kind of work is right up our street. Perimeter path around the garden, really shady in this spot here and very, very dirty indeed. We've got these retaining walls which are also very dirty. Even though it hasn't rained for several days, there's water absolutely everywhere. And this is the reason why we've got this water course which is actually running straight through the middle of the garden. The lawn here is completely waterlogged. With all this dampness, it's no surprise that the place is absolutely filthy. There's a lot to do. Let's get started. Gonna need an extension hose today to get all the way to the top of the garden. So got this upper area clean now, it's no longer dangerous and slipping, it looks a good deal better than it did. It's still quite speckled with black spot here and there though, that's really common with York stone, very difficult to treat actually. In addition to that, the stone is quite carbonated in places, so this is probably reclaimed stone taken from one of the mills in Leeds or Bradford or Calderdale. So these steps are a case in point, the black speckles that you can see are black like and very difficult to remove, especially from York stone. And then these more solid areas that are also black in colour, well that's carbon and no amount of pressure washing is going to remove that. So I'll put some deep clean product down, that will brighten up this stone a little more. But it's going to be limited what we can do here because quite simply you can't make a silk purse from a sow's ear. The problem that you've got with this property is it backs right up onto this hillside which in turn goes up onto the moors. All of the runoff is just coming straight down. Indeed there's a small copse up there where some trees have been planted in recent years, no doubt in an effort to control the drainage. Not working very well though, water continues to flood down onto the house below.
Well, I've got this lower area cleaned off now, but there's heaps of black lichen, so I'm going to need to put some product down to dissolve that away. Right, we've got all of this area foamed down now. I'm going to move back up to the upper terrace now, fire up the boiler and get the turbo lance onto some of these more stubborn stains. Unfortunately, I ran out of daylight last night, so I didn't get to complete the job. So I've just popped back today to do a little bit of finishing off. By and large, it's looking really clean actually, but this area down here is typical of some of the more stubborn spots that I need to address. Around and about the area, there are other spots that need attention too. So those areas of black spot where I've got the really stubborn stains, I'm going to try using a bit of heat. So I'll fire up the boiler, we'll put hot water on that with the turbo lance. I expect that'll be fairly successful, but I've always got the option to escalate and use some more concentrated chemical as well. Well, the hot water's worked pretty well, but not well enough. So I'm going to mix up some uh, fairly potent chemical and get that down on these southern stains, leave it to dwell for a little while and then clean off again. All done it's looking fantastic and the homeowner is thrilled and in a strange kind of way it's been oddly satisfying so until next time folks all the best to all of you